Police are looking for your help after a series of crimes occurred on the Tech campus yesterday. We'll have the details coming up. The Red Raider basketball team is in the middle of a historical winning streak. MCTV Sports' Kyle Stafford is in with a look at the scores and highlights next. And the Tech Activities Board pulled out all the stops last week to give a student the chance to show off their creative side. This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the Monday edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Julie Gomez. And I'm Laura Duclos. Yesterday evening, tech faculty, staff, and students received an urgent tech alert regarding crimes taking place on campus. That's right, Laura. The warning was sent out after two tech students faced dangerous situations involving a man with a gun. At approximately 6.30 p.m., a female student walking near Gordon Hall when a vehicle approached her and stopped. The vehicle was driven by a black male who then exited the car and told the student to get in. The student refused and ran away, and the suspect jumped back in the car and drove off. Later that evening, at approximately 7.28 p.m., another female student was approached by a suspect matching the description of the black male. The student was sitting in her car in a parking lot on the east side of Horn Hall, and the suspect approached her with a handgun. The suspect demanded that the student get out and give, her, give him the vehicle. In response, the student screamed and hit the suspect in the head with her hand. The suspect grabbed the student's purse and car keys and ran back to his vehicle. At that point, the suspect was accompanied by three additional black males who then fled the scene, headed north. Police believe the suspect's vehicle then left campus. Texas Tech Police and Lubbock Police are currently looking for the suspect. He was said to be a black male wearing a hoodie and armed with a handgun. The suspect's vehicle was a blue door, four-door Chevy Cavalier with non-tinted windows. The, the victim of the attempted carjacking was unable to give a description of the additional three black males seen in the car. If you have any information regarding either crime, you are urged to contact authorities immediately. You can reach the Tech Police Department at 806-742-3931. The Lubbock Police Department at 806-775-2865. Or you can call the crime line at 806-741-1000. Any information you can report anonymously. As authorities continue to investigate these crimes, those on campus are encouraged to, to be vigilant and stay aware of their surroundings. If you do encounter suspicious activities, please contact authorities immediately. You can use any of the campus blue phones or you can call authorities using one of the following methods. In an emergency, dial 9911 from a campus landline or 911 from a cell phone. In a non-emergency situation, you can call TTUPD by dialing 806-742-3931 or 806-743-2000. In other news, the Red Raiders basketball team is on a roll in the last half of their Big 12 conference schedule, having beat four teams in a row. The fun continued this weekend, and MCTV Sports' Kyle Stafford joins us with a look at all the details. Kyle? Thanks, Julie and Laura. The Texas Tech Red Raiders, one of the hottest teams in the nation, are playing their way right into the big dance. They upped their winning streak to four games following a 71-61 victory of the Oklahoma State Cowboys Saturday in Stillwater. That win marked the first time they have won there in 13 years. Todger Goter helped the Raiders pull away in the second half, scoring 21 of his career-high 24 points while shooting a whopping 70% from the field. On Wednesday, the Red Raiders got perhaps their biggest win of the season in a 65-63 thriller over Player of the Year candidate Buddy Hill and the number three Oklahoma Sooners. Tech's defense was the story of this one as they held the nation's second leading scorer in Hill to a season-low 16 points. Later in sports, I'll have more on Tech Basketball's historic week, and we'll take a look at how the Red Raider baseball team fared in their opening weekend. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Kyle. Basketball wasn't the only event happening on campus last week. The Tech, the tech Activities Board had a busy week with Disney Open Mic Night on Wednesday and their weekly movie screening on Thursday. But one other event Thursday evening gave students a chance to demonstrate their craftiness in a very colorful way. On Thursday, students had the chance to get their hands dirty with a trendy hobby. The mudroom in Lubbock came by the sub to give students the opportunity to all create the same painting, but each with a personal touch. Well, today we have Canvas Creation Nights where students can come and we have we hired someone to come and they like kind of guide them through and we're painting the masked rider with whatever background you want. Students were given instructions on how to paint the masked rider statue with a trademark West Texas sunset in the background. Each participant was given their choice of paints and brushes, a canvas, and a stencil to ensure a perfect silhouette. On top of all the artistic experience, attendees were also able to take their pick from an assortment of snacks and refreshments sponsored by TAB to make sure students had a fully restorative break from schoolwork. 
My favorite part would probably be like painting it, like really getting into the zone and uh, well, just like visioning what you wanted it to be at the end and really seeing it and like painting it with your friends. It was really fun. It like gave me an hour break before I have to go study. For MCTV, I'm Laura Duclos. Canvas Creations is just one of many events held by TAB throughout the semester. Just head over to their website, tab.ttu.edu, for much more information. Last week also marked a special holiday for a group here at Tech, but it's one you may not have known about. Tech's Vietnam Center Archive celebrated the Vietnam Vietnamese Lunar New Year on Thursday afternoon. The Tech community was invited to join in the celebration, also known as Tet. In the Hall of the Nations, in the International Cultural Center, the event featured a small example of the holiday, including traditional food, drink, and a short program talking about the celebration's history. You know, normally Americans hear the word Tet, you know, especially when they think about the war, they think of the Tet Offensive of 1968, a massive military operation that occurred throughout the entire country of Vietnam, you know, lots of people killed and wounded and just battles everywhere. And what we like to do with this celebration is kind of turn that on its ear. You know, we're not looking at the war really, we're looking at this wonderful holiday in Vietnam that's been around for centuries, actually millennia, and you know, it's, it's one of these, these wonderful celebrations of family and time with friends and you know, it's kind of like Christmas, New Year's. Years, Thanksgiving, all rolled up into one. Actually, throw in Fourth of July there because there's fireworks and all kinds of neat stuff. So it's just this wonderful three-day holiday in Vietnam as a celebration of, of life and, and joy and happiness. And so that's, that's the purpose of this, is just to bring some folks together, share some great food, and celebrate Vietnamese history and culture. The Vietnam Center collects and preserves the history of the Vietnam War. The Tet Celebration is only a small part of the center's mission by educating the community about all aspects of the American Vietnam experience. For more information about the Tech Vietnam Center, visit vietnam.ttu.edu. Over the weekend, Lubbock residents had yet another chance to see the South Plains bipolar weather in action. Saturday, we had a bright sunny skies and a high of 85. Then yesterday, skies clouded over and we got up into the 60s with hot winds as high as 30 miles per hour. That's true, Julie. So far today has continued the crazy trend of changes and it could even get more interesting by tonight. Let's take a look at the MCTV forecast. As you can see, it's overcast today and the sun hasn't shown up since early this morning. Temperatures are in the lower 50s and there's even a chance of rain overnight. Tomorrow you can expect even more dreary, dreary weather with rain chances throughout the morning and afternoon. High temperatures will only get up into the mid 40s and overnight lows will fall below freezing. Wind speeds will also stay around 20 to 30 miles per hour throughout the day and evening. With those speeds, we could see winds, wind chills in the 20s and 30s. Thankfully, by Wednesday, the clouds should clear off and the sun will return. Temperatures return to the upper 50s and lower 60s, and the wind should be a bit more calm. Thursday will bring more of the same with a high in the upper 50s, but watch out for overnight temperatures. Both Tuesday and Wednesday's lows will be below freezing. Looking ahead, a warming trend should return to the area late in the week, leading to another beautiful weekend. As we mentioned earlier, the Red Raider basketball team has had an amazing run with four wins in their last four games. And that's not to mention that three of those teams were ranked in the top 25 when Tech beat them. That's right, Laura. Wednesday's win over number three Oklahoma and Saturday's win over Oklahoma State have helped move the Red Raiders much closer to the NCAA tournament berth. Kyle Stafford joins us again with an in-depth look at last week's games as well as a preview of what's next. Kyle? Thanks, Julie and Laura. Aaron Ross continued to produce for Tech, notching 12 points and 9 rebounds, and Matthew Temple tied a career-high 11 points in their win Saturday. On Wednesday night, the Red Raiders used an 8-2 run to finish off the Sooners after trailing by 4 with just under 3 minutes remaining. Ross led the team with 17 points, and Keenan Evans added 14 and 3 assists. The win was the first time in school history Tech had knocked off three straight-ranked opponents. The buzz around this basketball team is continuing to grow, and the excitement here in Lubbock is something that has been missing for years. As of today, the Red Raiders are currently an 8 seed in Joe Lenardi's bracketology. They would take on the 9 seed VCU Rams. The Red Raiders will look to continue their winning ways tomorrow night at the United Supermarkets Arena against the TCU Horn Frogs. Tip-off is set for 8 p.m., and if you can't make it out to the USA, you can catch it on ESPN News. Red Raider baseball opened up their 2016 season with a series win against the Milwaukee Panthers that was capped off by a 12-0 victory for Tech. Eric Gutierrez led the team with seven RBIs in the series while going seven for 13. Tech will be back in action this Wednesday on the road against the Sam Houston State Bearcats. First pitch is set for 6.30 p.m. 
The Lady Raider basketball team dropped a tough one to the Kansas State Lady Wildcats 65-53 on the road yesterday. They will return to action this Wednesday night at the United Supermarkets Arena as they play host to the number 8 Texas Longhorns. Tip-off is set for 6.30 p.m. The Tech softball team picked up a 2-0 victory over California Saturday, notching their only win in their weekend tournament. They will travel to Louisiana this Thursday for a doubleheader against the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns. First pitch is set for 4 p.m. Well, that's all for sports. I'm Kyle Stafford. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kyle. If you've been wanting to go to the movies but running a little light on cash, the Tech Activities Board has got you covered tonight. Let's take a look at the MCTV events calendar. Tonight, head out to the Alamo Draft House and catch a free screening of the new movie, How to Be Single. The film stars Rebel Wilson in a hilarious look at single life in a world filled with ever-changing definitions of love. Start time of the movie is 7 p.m. and the first 300 students will be admitted. And to sweeten the deal, the tab is also providing popcorn at the event. All this is free with your student ID. Tomorrow you have a chance to learn some health tips while scoring some free food. The Office of Risk Intervention and Safety Education are holding several events this week as part of their Feed Your Body and Soul Week. Tomorrow Rise is hosting the Feed Your Body Fair in the Sub Ballroom from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will give students a chance to learn about mindful eating, body acceptance, and health at every size. And the best part of the event? Free food will be provided. For a list of all the events taking place this week, visit RISE's website at rise.ttu.edu. And on Wednesday, you can have some fun while participating in an event that benefits the community. The Tech Activities Board is hosting a sackathon in the Sub North Plaza from 11 a.m. to 12, 2 p.m. The event allows participants to show off their bagging skills in a competition. The event benefits Lubbock Independent School District students. The sackathon is part of the annual Raiders Give Back Philanthropy events hosted by the TAB throughout the year. For more information on TAB and Raiders Give Back, visit TAB's website listed on your screen. So, Laura, do you have any big plans for this week? You know, um, since midterms are coming up, I have quite a few school projects that I'm working on, but I will definitely swing by that RISE event for that free food. <laughs> That's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thank you so much for joining us, and be sure to check out ttuhub.net every day for more news. We'll see you on Wednesday.